I guess you're all aware that patients with mitral valve replacement can develop hemolysis if they have a paravalvular leak with an eccentric jet. But did you know that the same can happen in patients with mitral valve repair? Well, Soha Hekal from the Magdi Jakub Foundation in Aswan presented a very interesting case here at the Cardio Alex Conference 2025. She showed a patient, a 60-year-old patient, with myxomatous mitral valve prolapse and significant mitral regurgitation, as you can see here. While the patient was eventually operated and was stable, until all of a sudden the patient developed severe hemolysis with an HP of 6. Well, echocardiography actually showed that the artificial cords were torn and that the anterior leaflet was now coapting with a mitral aneroplasty ring. This not only led to significant mitral regurgitation, but also caused shear forces, which led to severe hemolysis. This reminds me of a case that I saw many, many years ago with artificial cords who had also mitral regurgitation after operation, but also developed significant hemolysis. So congratulations to Soha for this wonderful case that is truly an eye-opener.